Finally today, as corn is emerging, producers should never assume that protection is guaranteed for their crops. Producers need to be alert to the potential for damage from early season insects, such as cutworms and other insects. Market Journal's Mike Straub recently caught up with extension entomologist Bob Wright to discuss some mitigation tactics that could prove beneficial for their operations. With crops emerging, early season soil insects are something to be looking out for. There's a couple of different insects that, that can damage corn early. And I guess the main thing to watch for or assess when you're in the field is what type of insect it is, because that can influence management decisions. There's some early season insects like wireworms and white grubs and seed corn maggots where there's no rescue treatment. So the decision mainly is whether or not to replant and to understand what the problem is so you can plan to avoid it in the future. There are some other insects, primarily cutworms, that uh, feed above ground. And if they're severe enough, we can use insecticides to try to reduce the injury. Uh, if we are dealing with cutworms, it's important to identify which species are present and their size. Particularly the size is important because that can tell us how much longer they're going to feed and uh, whether it's gonna be too late to treat in some cases. When trying to identify if you have an early season insect infestation, there are different characteristics for different insects to be looking out for. A couple of things, uh, one thing would be uh, gaps in the stand. Some of the insects like wireworms or seed corn maggots can actually kill the seed before it emerges. And so you need to dig up uh, where the seed was and see if you can find insects. Uh, other, other insects like the cutworms, uh, there may be some leaf feeding initially, and obviously if the plant is cut at the base, that's an indication of cutworm probably. There can also be uh, growth distortions. Uh, the wireworms can feed at the base of the plant and, and disturb the growing point, or it could be plant wilting from damage of the, of the roots uh, from some of these early season pests. Not all soil insects can be controlled in the same way. It is important to find out early if there is an infestation issue to protect your crops. Some insects, there's no uh, post-plant insecticide that's available, particularly the soil insects. We don't have any in insecticides that would be active against the soil insects. Uh, the, there's a variety of insecticides can be used for cutworms. Uh, and so that, that would be something, if you do have cutworms, there is a potential to use insecticides to control them. An insect infestation can quickly become an economic liability. Knowing where an insect is in its life cycle is important to identify quickly. Damages these insects inflict on crops could potentially mean replanting is in order. In some cases, preparing for next season is the best option. There's two different decisions. One is the replant decision and uh, if the corn stand across the field or a portion of the field is, is so low that there's definitely going to be a decreased yield potential, it may, may pay to re replant. In terms of cutworm injury, we usually have a guideline if you have three to five percent of plants that are cut and uh, not productive, that may warrant a treatment to prevent further damage. And again, knowing what size the cutworms are is important in terms of how much longer they're gonna be feeding. Uh, cutworms and all caterpillars do most of their feeding damage in the last couple of stages. So most of the cutworms we have in Nebraska can get up to an inch and a half long at, at maturity. So if they're over an inch long, it may be by the time you get out to spray, it may be too late to treat. I think the main take home message is to uh, assess whether what type of insect damage you have and whether it's a treatment, whether it's a, uh, an insect that you can still treat for or whether it's just something you need to take note of for next year and plan for next year. Early season soil insects are just one of many aspects to be looking out for when examining your crops. Identifying which insects is causing the issue, where it is in its life cycle, and understanding early when to treat or replant are some of the biggest takeaways. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Mike Straub.